Welcome to Ascent. I'm Fiery Grace the Gifted. I'm here with a Divine Feminine Insights reading. I have already blessed and shuffled these decks. I'm going to split them. We're going to check out the energy and we will see what messages come through for the Divine Feminine Collective. I will warn you, I know I have not done a Divine Feminine reading for a while. Um, there's a lot of mixed reviews when those come out. <laughs> and so sometimes people want me to focus only on the DF and sometimes people want me to focus on the DF through the DM's eyes. Um, before you lay out any expectations or requirements of this reading, I want you to first use this time of splitting, etc., getting everything set up to ask what it is you might need to know most right now. And once the message comes through and I kind of can give you an idea of what we're going to do, then you make that decision on whether or not you're supposed to be here, okay? Because a lot of you will either watch things that aren't for you or you will miss messages because of an assumption you have that that's just not something that you need to hear or need to know. So let's find out what are we doing here. starting Go here wow okay so yes this is definitely this is definitely a divine feminine reading <laughs> like, okay give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others lavish abundance if you've been having some trouble welcoming abundance into your life or even maybe appreciating it, right? Being grateful for the abundance you do have. If you have been struggling, not even with the birthing aspect of the dreams, but maybe even just the, you know, the, the pregnancy part of it, <laughs> like the, you know, the having something in you that the, the, I don't know, I've never been pregnant, so I don't know how to explain what I'm sensing here, but I see like the child kind of moving inside and there being this discomfort. Um, I can't tell if it's just like, get off my bladder or if it's like, get out of here. Okay. Um, it, it could also be a sense of you moving around in there is reminding me of how I'm not ready yet. Right. Maybe I haven't uh, set up the crib or blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So there, there is definitely something up here with our purpose, our passions, and what we're meant to do next. And I don't mean next in the future. I mean next right now. Like, what is the next step for us? Wow. That's 11. Oh, divine feminine. Delays are over. Many things are happening at once. Sheesh. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. Um, yeah, we're going to go there. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Another three. So you're feeling that pressure because God said so, right? Like there's this vibe of... I am sending things to make you feel uncomfortable. I am, you know, sending things or even had prepared you to be at that certain level of gestation when this certain energy hit in the world so that you would be affected this way. Like it, it can seem so complicated, but it's not when you're God, right? So, so it's like, I sent that energy down of you really take, this is crazy that I'm doing a divine feminine reading, right? If this was a DF reading or DM reading, this would be so different. It would be so different, but it's like, I sent this energy down to remind you that you are a powerful feminine. And I gave you those gifts for a purpose. And I sent that abundance to you in the correct measure. Some of y'all just heard an echo of something familiar in the correct measure. Mm. But for some reason, 
being up in the, the high place in this altitude, you're struggling to breathe. You're feeling the effects of the spirit walk, if you will, right? Maybe you've done the ayahuasca ceremony and it just hit. I, there is something happening, spiritually speaking, that is requiring you to experience a lot at once, but also to be above it all. Vekuve Adonai. Oh. You will soar on wings of eagles, DF. You will not grow tired because the journey that you're supposed to be on has the correct measure of sustenance, the correct measure of even hunger. Oh, man, 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 man. We got to close the door on something. What, what else do we need to know about this? Look at that. Wow. Talk about abundance, giving birth to your dreams and then closing a door. That's that 13. And it says, listen, there is something that is coming to an end here. I think it is being in an imbalanced state of existence on your twin flame journey, like on a major level, but that will trickle down benefits by allowing you to focus on the thing that's going to matter after you get in union. You, you cannot wait until you're in union. You cannot wait until things get good in your relationship dynamic. You cannot wait until, wait until, wait until it's time for you to seize the dang gone day. And if you're not ready to seize the day, get out of here. Go on and get, because I'm a coach and I don't know how to coddle you and tell you it's okay not to other than to tell you that I know that if you know that that's where you're supposed to be, then you need to go and be in that space and come back and watch this reading later. That's all I can say. But for those of you who are like, nah, Grace, give me the kick in the pants. That's why I'm here. Baby, why does this keep coming up for the Divine Feminines? Why does it keep coming up that the Divine Feminine Collective is having trouble? Oh my. Oh, I can see it all up and through here. I see magician energy. I see three of wands. I see the fool. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so this, okay. All right. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. The magician, the three of wands, the fool. Ace of Pentacles, baby, it's time for you to stretch your wings. Do you know that in this deck, that's what the Queen of Wands says? And what did I, I pointed at these wings and I tried to tell you? See, that doesn't happen to make me look cool. Ooh, Grace is magical. No, it happens for you, okay? I'm the type of person, because of how I was raised, because of just, I don't know, maybe because I'm an empath, I don't know what it is, but I'm the type of person that Anything and everything that I watch, I can get something out of it. Unless it's just pure trash and I don't watch it. You know, I just, I know to turn it off. I cut it right off. So I want you to be able to be here right now, whether you feel like it's for you. Because if you're still here, even after Grace has given you multiple reasons not to stay and you stuck around, try to get something out of it, no matter how it comes across. If you think I'm too brash, if you feel like the signs and sinks are just repeating themselves and spirits not giving you anything different, because I know some people, you ain't mad at me, you're mad at your guides. You point blank tell me. Whatever it is, someone is asking you to pay attention. Someone is telling you that deep down, you know you want to break out. Honey, you might be giving birth to yourself right now. That might be why you, oh my gosh. That's hard, okay? That's hard. But <laughs> some of y'all will understand my colloquialism when I say giving birth to yourself. Now that's hard. You feel me? Come on. Giving birth to someone else is hard enough. Giving birth to yourself that's that self-made air, self-made heiress vibe. 
giving birth to yourself, that's that me and God. That's it. No one else. Giving birth to yourself, I don't need help. I'm my own baby mama. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm done. I know. I know. I know. All right. All right. Oh. Four of Swords, Divine Feminine. You have been laying on that truth. Let me tell you something. The other day, I finally, all these years of studying psychology, all these years of just everything that I've dealt with, I finally just went ahead and did it. And I self-diagnosed. Now, I never recommend that. I never recommend, I don't even diagnose people. That's why I always laugh. People say, oh, you're, you're a psychologist? Are you going to diagnose me? Um, No, you got to pay me for that. That used to be my joke, right? Why would I do it for free? Ha, 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 right? It was like a nice little back and forth you had with people. But now I'm telling you the truth is I don't self-diagnose. I don't diagnose any. I am not a, uh, a diagnostic statistical manual um, machine. And there is so much more that goes into it. So I avoided it. I, I did. Y'all, y'all want to know what my problem is? I got PTSD like a mug. All the other things that I swept under the rug, the crazy fears and all the issues and the mental stuff, I got PTSD. Every single thing that I decided to look up, little, little issues, right? That I was like, all right, I know studying what I've studied, being the academic that I am, having the degree that I have, there is a diagnosis for pretty much everything. I've avoided looking into it because I don't like the labels. I don't want to have to claim it. Every single one, comorbidity, PTSD, cause PTSD, PTSD. This is my PTSD card. Why? Because as many of you know, this is the soldier coming home after the war. Back in the day, they had the soldiers build their own coffin or the family prepare the coffin before they left for war, just in case they came back and they weren't alive, they would be able to lay them to rest quickly. When you come back and you're alive, you go lay in that coffin and you reflect on all the moments where you could have died, the moments where maybe you had to do what you had to do to survive. You look at yourself in your brokenness in this space and you come face to face with everything, every demon, every fear, everything that makes you you in your shadow side or your dark side or whatever you wanna call it. Divine Feminine, I think we all need to take some time to acknowledge who we really might be, where we really might be, at least in the moment. I'm not going to walk around and be like, y'all, I got PTSD. That's, that's, not, that's not me, but also I would never recommend self-diagnosing and then on top of it, walking around and claiming it and holding on to it. That's why, unfortunately, guess what happens? Some of y'all about to get so mad. So here's your trigger warning. Calm down. It's okay. Take a deep breath now before I upset you that way and then breathe through it, okay? Some of y'all, found a symptom, whether it was showing up as obsession, um, thought, unwanted thoughts, right? Uh, uh, irrational thinking, all kinds of, right? So you went and you sought and you diagnosed yourself, I am a twin flame and I'm in separation. That's why I'm where I'm at. And then you just claimed it and you ran with it. And every time they said, yeah, here's a symptom, here's a bad thing about separation, you'd go, oh, that explains it. And then you'd sit in it and you'd dwell in it. I would not be surprised if a belief in being a twin flame one day in the distant future becomes some sort of diagnosable thing. Honestly, as I say it, it's probably already a thing just without that label. That's how they look at us. That's why we are afraid to share. That's why we don't want to talk about it. Have you self-diagnosed yourself as a twin flame in separation rather than a divine feminine on his or her journey, their journey? Have you, which one, which one did you pick? because you may very well be having symptoms of twin flame PTSD in your life right now. Every single issue that I have, that even in my excellence, even in my, my priestess 
vibration, my prophetic being, the essence of being the child of God and the ambassador of heaven that I am, my humanness still struggles with X, Y, Z. And I finally just looked at it and looked at it for what it was and found the common denominator, which a lot of you in my coaching plans, you guys know that's what we do. We look for the root, the common denominator. The common denominator in your life right now is that your twin flame journey or being a twin or being a twin flame in separation is murdering you on a daily. Again, maybe it's not that bad because I know I use a lot of, uh, what did somebody say? Oh my gosh, someone complained about a title of a love letter once. Like, I didn't know that you used that kind of, oh my gosh, was it like inflammatory language? And it's like, yo, y'all need to chill because this is the only way I can get you guys to watch the messages that are for you is by keeping it real in those titles. I don't do clickbait. I don't have 600 ads. Oh, here's an ad. You got to stop and pop. I don't do all that. I say what I'm supposed to say. And if it bothers you, it's likely more about you than it is about me. I'm sure I've slipped up, said some things, sure. But you've got to ask yourself why that trigger keeps slapping you the way that it does. Why do you keep watching the readings and focusing and harping on one thing? Is it because there's something going on there that you're trying to sweep under the rug? Or is it because there's something in you that you have not yet diagnosed and become aware of so that you can work through it and find the truth of it and move forward? Yeah, it's time to shift. It's time to acknowledge what our twin flame journey is doing to us and if it's not murdering our soul <laughs> is it still distracting us is it scaring us is it irking you so much that you can't focus are you pouring your whole heart and soul into it and not realizing that it's murdering you or tearing you apart because you're so deep in the forest that you haven't gone to the high place yet to look down and go, oh my gosh, that forest has been on fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Seven. Divine Feminine, the new path is opening up. It is going to be a very high vib vibrational path. It is going to be one that requires you to stand firm it is one that is going to require you to be able to move at a moment's notice keep up with all of it you got to be in warrior mode and unfortunately let's just be real you may also be in a space where you are actively mothering and or pregnant with your own dang self oh my gracious so this deck was brought in <laughs> at the last second I'm not very familiar with it. I don't know what we about to do together because this is going to be us together experiencing this. But this is going to be what helps us understand. Hmm, three of Pentacles. What helps us understand. It's funny. What's next in the partnership? What's next on our journey? Why this message is even coming out in the first place. So. Yo. Ugh. All right. If you got an icky feeling in your belly right now and you take five deep breaths and pause this video and you still have an icky feeling in your belly, you need to leave and come back later. Go and get, get, get out of here. Get. If you still have an icky feeling in your belly, but you're like, I'm not going anywhere, Grace. You better pull that card. Take another deep breath. Blow it all the way out. <laughs> the answer is yes what if the answer to every request you have made in the last let's just say year was yes would you have really gotten what you wanted what if the answer now is yes and now you're in denial because it wasn't yes before what if once you make this shift or this change or you release this problem, everything will be yes? Now, I know this is the angel deck. I'm going to assume most of these angels, or if not all of them, have to have wings, right? Let's just. Okay, okay. Well, 
Yes, yes. They all have. Okay, I'm just making sure. Because, you know, we got the wings, but I don't think that's nothing. Okay, what's back here? Wait. Ooh, if you could maybe consider giving us some clarity on what the yes is maybe pertaining to so that we could be more clear, even though I think that was pretty clear, but still. Honey, 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 honey. Now I wanna, I wanna say this too. Underneath the three, the Empress, the Major Arcana is the Eight of Cups. Now remember, we've got the Eight of Wands in the back. And I think what they're trying to say to you is, look at this, this is where you need to be. You need to get out of your feelings, out of your emotions, because you know that when you sit there, you want more, you want something different. So I'm just gonna say that, okay? All right, but do you notice anything kind of similar? There's just a similar look and vibe to these cards. And the truth is, I'm gonna just say something that some of y'all are gonna be like, whatever, Grace. I see her right here in her right here in this chest area. Again, I do not do tarot over the phone. I do not do any card pulls, rune stones, none of that over the phone. I require clients who make that purchase to watch it at least even later. If you can't see this right now because you're listening in the background, I really encourage you watch my readings, like actually watch them. I know that I don't probably hold the cards up as much as other people do. I know that I may mostly rely on my hands and stuff and you're not seeing my face. But when I put a card up to the screen, it's probably, no, it's for a reason, it's important. So maybe look and, and just be there. Be close enough to your phone that if I say something, you can come take a peek and then go back to what you're doing, okay? All right. I see her in there, which furthers this idea of giving birth to self. Her eyes are closed. She is taking it in. I see this as in those moments when Archangel Raphael is over us all, blessing our journey in our union, when he maybe disappears, right? Where you know he's, his blessing is still present. Again, I don't really do believe in angels like other people do, I, you know, but I do in a sense. So it's, I just wanna make sure because some people be like, right, I, I thought you said. But anyway, so Archangel Raphael is blessing your union and then all of a sudden you can't really see him. Does that mean he's gone? No. You just got to close your eyes, take a moment, feel the presence, allow the download in, follow your intuition, trust your truth. See, the problem here is that because we in this community, I'm, I don't want to say we in our, I don't mean our tribe. I mean, twin flame woo woo. Okay. Put those vibes together. It's not cool to not know. It's not cool to be unawakened. It's not cool. That's why a lot of people kind of, they feel like they got to come and say, well, I'm, I'm really new to this. I don't really know what's going on, you know? So I just want to make sure everybody knows that everything I'm about to comment after is coming from a place where I don't really know. And I'm kind of embarrassed by that, but I have these questions. It's like, it's not okay to not be okay. I'm not allowed to talk about the toxic people in our community. I'm not allowed to talk about the attacks I endure as a reader. I'm not allowed to talk about that stuff because it's just not cool, right? But the problem is, when you have a community that thrives on this belief that our intuition is so strong, and yet our intuition, ooh, but burn, fiery grace, burn, I know, I know, but our intuition is obviously not strong enough because we cannot continue to move forward in our journey without asking someone else for help. We're all a bunch of hypocrites most of the time in this community. Again, not no, so much our tribe, I think, because you know me, y'all, like, <laughs> I just told y'all, I think I got P PTSD, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be perfect because how will that ever help anyone else? I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I don't spend moments with God like, please talk to me, I don't know what's going on. He's like, I've been talking to you this whole time. You're not listening. I'm not gonna pretend those moments don't happen. I need you to ask yourself, if your intuition is so on point, why are you here? Now, some of y'all be like, mm bitter, petty, I'm clicking off this video then, F you girl. Okay, well bye, you you know, you weren't gonna learn anything anyway, so bye. But the rest of you who are like, oh my gosh, Grace, this is so embarrassing. I'm not saying it to embarrass you. I'm actually just saying it so that you can see the reality of what's happening here. 
no matter where you go, whether you're in the spiritual community or in the lowest of the lowest, unawakened, low vibrational slums, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter where you are. There's always an upside. There's always a downside. And the downside here is we talk a really good game. But right now there's a bunch of you out there watching this who are begging for me to give you permission begging for your guides to give you six more clear visions because you honestly know the first 10 that came through were real, but it's just so hard and you're scared and you need the motivation or you're nervous. Because the truth is most of us have really big, important things, huge goals that we're set to achieve. And it is scary. You have every right to feel that way. You have every right to be looking for assistance. You have every right to feel like sometimes your intuition, you just need to check and make sure you're not off. You have every right to be there. But I think that this message is coming through and saying, baby, you already know that the answer is yes. You are so loved by God, source, spirit, universe, divine, whatever you believe in. But I believe that God loves us so much that beyond sending our son for salvation and all the things that make me believe what I believe for me, that I also believe that for you, even if I'm like, oh, well, they don't believe what I believe, I still believe my God is good. Do you believe that about the universe? Or do you think that the universe only gives to people who are good? Because guess what? If you really believe that, then the next time you screw up, your thought is gonna be, oh no, Karma's coming my way. The universe is after me. Grace is going to read me in the next reading. You have got to escape this space. Mm. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Well, now, I don't know about you, but I'm intrigued. Like, I'd like to know, you know, what the heck is happening here. All right, we're going to get a, I'm going to get one. For, whoa, that is way too many. Can we get, like, come on, guys. Oh, pretty. These are such pretty cards. I just, I want, I just want one card. I need them to be individual because there's a lot of energy in this deck. I'm gonna shuffle three more times. If a card does not come out, then I'm gonna take the top as well, okay? Okay. Yes, you go there, you go there, and you are out of the way, okay? Um, here, alrighty. gonna take you <laughs> we're gonna take you okay we're gonna put you here and okay there's one that one yep that was one all right uh yeah that's fine okay and last but not least Nope. Two again? Do y'all really need to come out? I don't know about this. Okay. How did it come out? There we go. Well, I don't know. I like that one. All right. All right. So let's just, let's just, let's just. <laughs> start here so first thing that we're going to look into is this these are messages directly concerning your divine counterpart and you might be like grace i thought you said this was a divine feminine look i told y'all if you just get in here i told them in the beginning now okay some you can't be a twin flame and then be like oh if you do a df reading don't even mention the divine masculine i mean you then don't this is a twin flame channel guys Okay, you understand that, right? This is not a general, I, I've tried putting those readings out. No one watches those. You guys 
come to me and Mr. Lightwork because you see twins in union and you know the vibe. All right. So yes, this is from your DM. This is about your DM or something along those lines. All right. And then we will come back to you. But this, this is for you. This is about you. This is going to answer your question. This is what you need to know. Your DM does not need from you. And this is what you need to know that your DM does need from you. Because a lot of the decisions that you're making are somehow connected to this person. Some of you for, I mean, we've known this for a while, right? Are just afraid to move forward because you don't want to leave your DM behind. And you think like the only way for you to go into union is if you drag them along or something. No, 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 no. Some of you, you just, you need someone to directly like tell you. And the reason why you, another, and I won't say the reason, but another reason why you don't share about twin flames is because you don't want people to tell, because what you're going to say is, well, you just don't understand. This is a sacred relationship. Um, regular rules can still apply to a sacred relation, to a sacred relationship. Don't get so high up in your beliefs that you're so esoteric that you cannot, again, I have a degree in clinical psychology and counseling and it took me, what, all these years? I've been studying psychology since I was 11 years old. I have been intrigued by it. I wanted to be a psychologist by the time I was in my early high school years after years of wanting to be a pediatrician. Suddenly I, I just knew and never once did I take the time to try to look up my symptoms. There was something that made me feel better just knowing that there could be an answer out there and that everyone has problems. So I, I didn't feel like I needed it. I got it now. In the same way, I need you to ask yourself, is there anything that I've been denying, ignoring, avoiding because I just didn't want to walk away from my DM because I was afraid of what that might mean for, you know, not just my journey, but the length of time I'm on this journey alone or seemingly alone. So here's what your DM wants you to know. 5D DM is most likely who this is coming through from, but you never know, you may hear some echoes from your 3D DM. And if you do, that's another good sign that they're on the right path, but a, even a greater sign that you need to listen. So where are we going? We going here, we going here. Yeah, we're gonna start here. So this is about your a 3D behavior. So your divine masculine. <laughs> Divine Feminine, I am not your project. I have never been your project. I am not a project. I am a person. You can let, you can let me go. I am not your project. I have never been your project. That is not what this is about. Okay, so, oh, I done turned the other cards. I didn't mean to. Well, I guess we're going to have to look at them, eh? All right. Actually, I saw these. So what does this mean, though? It's funny, because these are the two I saw. <laughs> this. All right. You established this foundation of... This is how we get to union. This is how I... Uh, make my DM the DM they need to be. Um, if they don't journey with me, then things are in a bad place. If I am not with my person, the moment I discover that I have one or that I believe this person is my person, then something must be wrong. All of these things, the, the, the stability of your union with your divine partner is at stake because your... <laughs> your um your belief of what union is what twin flames are what the journey should look like there is something in there it is a house of cards and i think the reason why we are finally getting this message that comes through really just straight up is saying divine feminine you're afraid to take the next step because you're the, the you are the final move in this game of Jenga. Jenga, Jenga, we're pulling sticks out. We are playing a life-size game of Jenga. 
Now, some of you guys have actually played with life-size blocks at some like adult establishment or maybe some family member has like a life-size game of Jenga out of like two by fours. Some of you know what I'm talking about. And you know how loud and hard that thing falls. And you know what people do? Because it's so big, the same thing they do with the little Jenga game. What, what do they do? They try to hold it up even though they know it's falling. See, I think what they're saying is, you already pulled the last one out, my love. You've already pulled it. And you noticed that when you pulled that block out, the one, the, it, was the, it was the block that you were relying on all this time to be your stability. You noticed that thing started to fall and immediately, and you know why you're so tired and you feel so stiff and your neck hurts and you're acting up? It's because you've been holding this freaking giant thing of blocks up for, for who knows how long now. Because you think that you're the pillar of strength in the relationship. Listen, DF, there are things that you are definitely stronger than your DM in. And guess what? There are things that are stronger than you, but you don't want to hear that. There are things that they are going to need you to help them heal from it. But there are things that this is not you and them. This is an image of someone helping to heal another, someone being strong for another when they can. And just because that's a feminine, see, it's some of y'all are male and still see this and think, yep, that's me and my DM. And I'm the woman. I'm the one with the, the infinity over my head. I'm the wise one. Honey. You don't have to do this anymore. You never were supposed to. That's the problem with general readings. And that's not me trying to get y'all to buy a private reading. I'm trying to get y'all to stop watching tarot, okay? Don't just stop watching my channel when I say that because you feel guilty, but then you watching all the other channels. If you gonna watch tarot, keep watching me, sure. But as long as you need it, here I am. And when you don't need it anymore, you're welcome for being the one friggin' reader who says, stop, don't do it. But when you watch a general reading, you're going to hear us say things. And if you decide to grab a hold of it because you already believe it, we have just unknowingly, unwittingly added to your house of cards. That is not my goal ever. I over explain, I put things in context and I put it into a story because I love you enough to make sure you get it. Hopefully so you don't have to keep coming back around to hear the same message. Your DM is trying to say something to you right now. And this is not just about you. This is also a little bit about you needing to show them some respect and see how strong and powerful they are. And I know some of you are gonna say, oh no, I know, I know, I know. And it's like, well then why don't you trust them to be able to handle their journey and get to you when they're supposed to? Oh, but that's not what you want me to say, okay. Why is this being said in the first place? Why is this such a big deal? What is it that, oh, oh, let me look at, hmm, four plus eight. Let me think, what did we, four cups. Was it the four cups? What was, the, what was the four and eight we saw? Was it four and eight we saw? Four of swords? No, no, no. The four was here. The four was the ace of pentacles and the three of wands. Ah, okay, interesting. The eight, we saw that eight of cups versus eight of wands. And here we see four plus eight is 12, plus one is 13. You have to put to death, close the door, end the cycle. Because until you do, ooh, and I said Archangel Raphael, and this is him in the flesh. Until you do, guess what? You're not gonna see the forest for the trees, but you're also, is, is this focused? I can't see it. I can't tell if it's focused, but I'm so sorry if it's not. You're also not gonna be able to tell who your true person is. And unfortunately, some of you are right about your person, that person you think is your person. They are your person, but they're not your person yet, right? They haven't stepped fully into their true self and you're not helping. I'm just, look, I'm, I know how people get when I say something. Oh my gosh, calm down, relax, take a deep breath. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And then, and then, whoosh. okay, I just threw some water in your face. I slapped you because it's the 1920s and you're hysterical. Now, if you better, <laughs> you, you don't calm down, I'm going to go get my vibrator. Okay, you're hysterical. All right, I'm done. Some of you guys don't get that at all. 
Study your history, people. All right. <laughs> so your divine masculine says, let's just make sure we get this clear because grace is crazy, right? So let me just, let me take grace out of it. Let me clarify the message. Clarify. I'm going to clarify it for you. Your divine masculine is asking you to assess what you have decided to be true regard with regards to your union. It is creating this traumatic stress in your life and you don't realize it because now that you believe it, you can only go forward, not back. You can only go deeper into the belief. It's hard to let it go, especially because there's a person associated, a tied to it. You have to understand you were never supposed to be the one to take over and solve all their problems and become all of these things for them. That was never your job. Your job has always been to be your best self. And if they happen to benefit from that without any extra effort from you, well, duh, they're your twin, of course, right? But then good for them. But if not, they are still the king of the jungle and baby let's just be real they are also pure and powerful and loving and sweet and kind and wise you have a messed up understanding of what this dynamic is and it's got to change because until that day comes you're not going to see them for who they are and babe i just got to say something remember that person that you're giving birth to you know Honey, what if this is you? What if it's not that you can't see your DM? Oh, Jesus, that's deep. Ouch, ouch, Grace, ouch. Oh, my gosh. This is why Mr. Light would be hollering, y'all. Well, crud, you know? I just realized that all this time we've been talking about your DM and how, remember you guys, how I had that session, it was like last year, two years ago, I had a session with someone and I, I got through the whole session and felt like, dude, we, I have, this It was the first and last time I've ever felt this way too. I felt like it was a complete waste for this girl. I just felt like she kind of was like talking to a stranger and, and then, you know, I just, I, she was just, there was just, it just wasn't working. And at the very end, I just, I don't even want to say I threw a Hail Mary. I wasn't even trying. I was just kind of going with the flow of the conversation. I didn't even think it was going to be a big deal. And I said, look, in the end, I think that whether this person is your person or not, no matter how long the journey takes, you're going to have to release them as they are. Because the person that you have been with now, that you've known, is going to be very per different than the person you meet, right? Sure, we get that. Sure, right? We think to ourselves, well, yeah, if our divine masculine still needs to integrate their 5D and da 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 and all these things and all the labels and all the words and all the lingo, we, we, it makes sense somehow. Have you ever considered that maybe you're not who you're going to be when you guys get into union either? Oh, see, have you ever considered that maybe when they meet you as their new person, that you need to be a new person too? Ouch. Some of you guys, I wanna say this, cause I know how I am. I am constantly overcritical of myself, constantly looking for ways to make sure that I can be more loving, more kind, you know, have Mr. Lightwork more in mind in the ways he wants to be in mind. And all I'm, I'm so hard on myself that I don't need anyone else <laughs> to help. I probably need someone to pull me out more than anything. So I wanna make sure that you know that I didn't say that to you just now to hurt you and I'm not judging you. And maybe that was the permission that you needed to become the person you want. Oh my gosh, it's taking me back to the beginning of the reading. I freaking forgot. It's the queen. It's the queen of wands. Hold on. Let's read her real quick. Ooh, open to five of wands. Now is the time to stretch your wings and really fly. You've been underestimating yourself and your abilities. Believe in all that you can do and accomplish. You'll naturally attract other people to assist you. Assert your independence and creativity. Now, let me, let me, you, in this book, they describe all the court members. I'm going to, I'm going to read you a description 
of this person. I want you to be honest with yourself. And I'm not, don't be honest with yourself so you can be like, oh, I am not good enough. Pretty much no one's going to ever be a perfect description, right? Cool. But I do want you to ask yourself if the person I'm describing is exactly who you crave to be or the person that you know yourself to be when you are at your best, when you have let go of everything else and you're trusting your journey and you're trusting God, source, spirit, universe, divine and walking in it. Just listen, okay? A person with a magnetic personality who is good natured and loves life. I'm going to tell you right now, Mr. Lightwork and I interact with enough people in this community to know there are quite a few of you who you can be good natured enough and love life enough until the divine masculine gets brought up and you get triggered and you drop to your lowest. So again, it's not about you just being a trash person or something crazy. There really isn't such a thing, but you know what I mean? It's not about that. It's about what can trigger you out of being your best. What is distracting you from standing in your, your firmness? Of self. Someone with great self-confidence who is astonishingly well-rounded in terms of talent and skills. Some of you guys don't even use your talents and skills, so you wouldn't even know if you're well-rounded. Some of you are incredibly powerful and don't even try to be. Some of you just sit around and wait and say, no, nah, not until my DM comes. I'll be at full strength then. What are you doing? What are you working towards? When is that going to change? When is something going to happen? Attractive do you find yourself attractive? I'm not talking about in society standards. Everybody ugly to somebody, everybody fine to somebody. I'm talking about do you look at yourself in the mirror and know, you know, whether it's your looks, your personality, your heart, your, your soul, the twinkle in your eye, that you are attractive? Are you warm? Or have you grown cold, wax cold in this stress? Intelligent, have you been losing your rationale? And struggling to make logical moves and decisions because all you can think about is your, what appears to be your in, illogical, irrational, divine masculine. Are you graceful or are you always falling all over yourself, falling and getting frustrated and everything, tripping over every little thing in your life? Are you capable? Do you believe that about yourself? Are you active? Oh, some of y'all are not gonna like to hear that. Cause so far you're like, got it, Grace. <laughs> That's me, Grace. Fooled you twice. Fooled you. Oh, act. What do you mean by active, Grace? Do you mean like, like I, I, I go for walks, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I go for a little scroll from time to time. You know what I'm saying? I be doing my scratches. Oh, I, I have a Peloton. I, I go hams, hamski, Grace. You don't need, no, no, no. Are you active in your community, in your light work? Are you making a difference every single day? Are you actively pursuing your passions and purpose to the depths of everything you are in the moments that you can with what you have there? Nah, I'm gonna say 90% of you aren't. You know why? Because you tell me you're not. You tell me that's why you're here. That's why we vibe. I'm not judging you. I'm not either. This, <laughs> this is a reading for me too. <laughs> I want to be more active. I've actually used this channel as a crutch to say that I'm active because I'm, I'm helping people and I'm, I'm helping people with, the, with my readings and my coaching and my phone sessions. So I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the truth is, the more I let myself get wrapped up in the booking list, the more I let myself get wrapped up in the, oh, did I post? What am I gonna post? Oh, I gotta, I'm forgetting that before I started this channel, I actually wanted to be a YouTuber, <laughs> not just a tarot reader on the internet. I actually wanted to reach people in more ways than just pulling a card and be seen and valued for more than just my ability and frequency to pull cards for people. I know we got more than that, Many of us have deeper relationships than that. You're dope, I'm dope. And the truth is both of us have crutches just like this. I don't, I don't need anyone to come to my defense or rescue right now. I know that I'm helping and I love it. I love it. I also some days feel like a turd, <laughs> okay? Because there are certain things I can't say, talk about, even I'm not allowed to express here. And that's not my fault. That's not even your fault. It's just the way YouTube works, right? It's the way subscriptions and algorithms and all that. I have no excuse for it. There is no one, if I sit here and I'm worried about where's the blame, is it me, is it? Nah, just get up and act 
on it. Get up, say yes, and move. Are you really active or are you acting? Ouch, ouch, Grace, ouch. Convincing. Listen, the truth is, OMG, none of you guys are convincing. I will tell you that. <laughs> and I don't say, I don't mean it like all the time, but what I do mean is sometimes when I'm on calls or doing sessions or whatever, you know, I'll get that, get the vibe of like, oh yeah, everything's good. And then it's like the last 10, 15 minutes, all the tears come. And all of a sudden we're talking about stuff that you could have mentioned the first five minutes of the call when I directly asked you <laughs> and you're like, no, no, everything's good. And then it's like, actually, I'm not okay. And it's like, listen, how long can you hold together this feeling that you have? How long can you pretend? Because the truth is you and your DM come together two weeks from now, they gonna see through you. You can only hold it in for so long. Difficult to throw off guard. I'm gonna put it to you like this. If there's anything that I've said in this reading that has is, is triggered you, but also could have just like confused you, like, oh, now I don't know, Grace. Oh, now you presented me with something I'm not sure about. Again, that's, it's not about me being like some master, wah, I'm spooky. It's not, I don't even think this is like your guides messing with you. I think that the tests that we receive are meant to be indicators and we take them as failures because to us, a failure is something bad rather than just, hey, I learned a lesson. I made a great strides towards something. Like we, we avoid failure like the plague, but that makes you easy to throw off because you're scared. You're always trying to avoid. When you stand firm in who you are and you walk forward, there's nothing that's gonna stop you. There's nothing that's gonna throw you off. Truly, I think the reason why you're, you know, easy to throw off guard is because you got your guard up about stuff. See, nah, Grace, Grace, finish the reading before you get cussed out. Worse than usual. Okay, all right. So what does your DM want you to know then? What does your DM want you to do? This is what they want you to stop doing. They need you to close the door on this whole thing, this whole, the way you've been seeing your journey. This has come up a few times in different ways. So I have a feeling that this is not just one person. This is probably the whole collective having some level of issue and all these different little, right? Okay, so what do they want you to continue? What do they need from you? What do you, what is it that you can continue to do? Okay, now I'm gonna make sure I don't pick these up so I can't see. Oh, honey. Wow, oh my. It's the six of cups and it's upright. They, I, I think they need you to understand something. If you continue forward with this, this is a lot of work. It's a lot of effort. You can fail with this. Again, failure is, it's, you see, this is why I feel like I gotta like, but you, if you cool with me, you're not gonna try me with this, okay? So again. You can fail. <laughs> you, you will reach a point where this is completely exhausting. It's funny that I'm talking about the Jenga sticks when I saw this because now I'm thinking about the Ten of Wands and how he's holding all the sticks. It's almost like he got mad because his, his um, thing fell over. You know? Okay, anyway. Sorry. So this is this. Don't do that no more. But please do continue forward with love. Continue forward with that sense of, of peace Remember the good times. And rather than trying to like recreate them, trust that they will come again. That there will be a point where you walk through a meadow as you've come out of the darkness of the valley and, and, and you're walking forward and you can see the mountain you've been avoiding, you know, in the distance that's been drawing you for all this time. And you finally start to walk towards it. You're getting closer. And there's that familiar sense there. And isn't that the flower that... Oh, wow, I can, what is that? My, my nose, my olfactory says something. Oh, I remember that cologne. You know, it's like, stop making it a project. And if there is labor to it, let it be a labor of love. If there is effort that you have to put in, let it be pure and sweet, no expectations. A project is rigid. 
And then if the plan doesn't work, we, we go again and we go again and we go again. And that is a dope thing for project management. That is an awesome, awesome process. I love planning. I love projects. Love, love, love them. But that is about bringing a bunch of like, you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 people together and all these different things. And there's, you need a project manager for something like that. You do not need a project manager for your relationship. You do need a project manager, you, for your life and your journey. And I understand that there's, whether it's readers, something you've read on your own, something you just believe, something you've come to terms with, where you think that since you're both twins and you just know that's your person, well, Grace, our lives are so intertwined. I guess you wouldn't understand. I guess you wouldn't understand that I can't move without my DM. Let me tell you something. You need to go on and get and come back to this channel when you're actually ready to see the truth for what it is. I, I'm, I'm, done, I'm done coddling psycho twins because the content that I keep up with in order to understand both sides, the things that I, at, at this point, I'm gonna have to create videos on another channel specifically helping people who have family members and friends who think they're twin flames and are going nuts, I'm gonna have to walk them through all the crazy parts about it. And y'all gonna get triggered by this <laughs> if you are not if you're not careful and if you're not helping to purify yourself and stop with the craziness. This journey is not meant to be toxic. It's not meant to be abusive. It's not meant to feel like shh all the time. Project manage your own life and your own mentality and your own spiritual core, not your DM. DF purify your approach. Why? Because your divine masculine is doing the same. Do not ask. Ooh, I just, ooh, 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 ugh. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. This, 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 this makes me mad, but I'm, I gotta say it and I gotta be irritated with y'all, I guess. Don't be a nickel out here looking for a dime. Statistics. Actually, I think I always, do I miss those? I think I might put those two things together. Is that the same song? Is that the same song? I think I've always mixed those two. I think they're the same artist. Isn't that Life Jennings? Anyways, for some reason I hear, don't be a nickel out here looking for a dime. And then I always hear statistics, 25% of all men are. Okay, anyways, I don't know if it's the same song because some of y'all gonna call for me in the comments for that. But the point is, oh my gosh, I will never forget. That's a long story. I'm not gonna tell it. I'm gonna tell you like this. I think it's messed up for someone to say something like that to someone, right? Like not really knowing them, not knowing what they've done, not knowing what they've been through. Oh, well, don't be a nickel out here looking for a dime. But the real thing is you cannot be out here expecting your divine masculine to have all this spiritual growth and make all these changes in their life, but you sitting around back here waiting on them as they continue to make progress and change. Because when they show up and they're still talking to the old you, 13. Put it to death. You focus on the love. Trust that they are focusing on what's important. Even if it doesn't seem like it. Even if some of them tell you they're not. Mr. Lightwork used to tell me all kinds of nonsense. But his actions and his words were very different. His words were bull, honestly. If I had listened to his words, we wouldn't be together right now. It was his actions. Wow, I would be like, oh my God. Some of you guys have it backwards. Some of you guys really do have it backwards. But some of you are not in your divine masculine's world or life or circle enough to even know what they're doing. So don't make, don't make an assumption either way. Don't. Just trust. Don't trust them. Don't, no, trust God. See, you're, you're still trying. No, trust God up here, up here. They are getting rid of all their false motives. They are getting, oh, see, honey, honey, honey. I've been getting some messages the last few weeks, haven't I, that the divine masculine and the divine feminine may actually be on the same freaking journey right now. It's like they met up, and even though they're still not, like, we're not, maybe we're not on the same, same path, we're on those parallel streets that both go from one side of your town to the other. So we're, we're moving in the same direction. And eventually, you know those streets go like this. You know they go like this. I have a street here in Florida. Some of y'all know Tampa. 
and there's two streets, Florida and Nebraska. And both Florida and Nebraska go all the way down to downtown until the streets freaking end and it's the Tampa Bay or the Hillsborough River or something, child. But they also go all the way to the north side of the county, dang near to the county line road, almost to the edge, before they have an apex. There's a delectable little Publix Plaza. The pl I love that Publix. And then it goes like this. And that turns into what? State Road 41. Four and one. 2021. Four and one. Healing our trauma so that we could spread our wings and fly. Move forward. Heal. Start listening to those divine masculine readings and instead of listening for them, listen for you. If you find yourself saying, I think I'm, I might be the divine masculine. No, baby, it's that you guys are finally aligned <laughs> and you're finally admitting that you are flawed more than you usually would because some of these readers get you to think, no, don't say that. You're DF, we're the best. No, bump all that. We're all flawed, we're all screwed, we're all messed up. We're also all incredible, amazing and blessed. And the duality, being able to exist in that and trust it and know that we are still beautiful and wonderful. It is a challenging thing to hold on to, but it's real and it's possible. Your DM is on the way. They are building their foundation as we speak. They are becoming more grounded than you are because you've been spending so much time up in these clouds of all these readings and all this information and all the confusion and when are they coming and I need to control this. I need to know the dates and the times and the... stop. Why? See, your DM is giving you this message, but I think there's a divine message coming through from the top that God even gave them to give you because God's like, if you're not going to listen to me, if you're not going to listen to your guides, maybe you'll listen to your freaking divine counterpart. Maybe that's why I had to put them here in the first place because you stubborn child. What's the message? <laughs> it's not even this one, it's this one. Booyah. Same card, different energy. Karmic energy, light worker energy. Come on now. Come on now. Oh no. Oh no. This is manifestation energy. Oh, honey, honey, honey. This is that master number creator. This is the illumination. This is transmutation. This is great responsibility that came with your great power. This is not you seeing your counterpart as weak. This is not you feeling like it's your job to come in. No. We're gonna let go of this message for a second. We're gonna come over here. This is about you Seeing yourself for who you are and seeing your divine counterpart, not for who they are, just for them and who you are in their life, but who they are in yours. Everything they are here to um, inspire in you, change in you, whatever. Mm. Forgiveness, compassion, releasing harsh judgments, great inner strength. The reason why you're being asked to do this is because when they walk through that door, when they walk through that portal, they need you to be meeting them at that Publix Plaza for them, them chicken tender subs, okay? Pew. All right, you know what? Let me stop. So why, what's the frown? Why, how can we turn the frown upside down? What's, what's, what, is the, what is this? Vulnerability and freedom. You know what I see? I see the star. Some of you guys know why I see the star, because some of you guys see it too. Not, not just that part, but the, I see the star. I didn't even notice that till this. I see the vulnerability. Vulnerability immediately brings me the star. That's Archangel Jophiel, Jophiel, Hophiel. Not this angel. I'm saying that in, the, the, in this deck, in this deck right here. 
um, the frown, I think, is the feeling. It's bittersweet I'm getting. Mmm, bitter waters, Mara. Okay. Oh, is this representing the star card? Does this, how many, how many cards does this deck have? No, it's only 44. I don't know why this is so strong. This is a very strong star card vibe. You can see the water in the back. Let's see, she's clothed. This is her dignity. Mmm, wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. Pause. See the other deck, Grace. What do you see? No, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go to the Rider weight and we're gonna look at the reversal of the star. Arrogance, impotence, and haughtiness. Ooh, but we'll, we'll look at the upright actually. Loss, theft, privation, priv, priv, privation, privation? What's pri Grace, we're gonna learn a new word today. I don't know if I've ever seen that word before. Hmm, what's priv, privation? What's is that like I want to be privy to something? Is I want privacy? Priv Am I trying to privatize my life? Oh, wow. Oh, like deprivation. Got it. A state in which things that are essential for human well-being, such as food and warmth, are scarce or lacking. Baby, you have turned your divine masculine into your sustenance, and that is not what they are. You feel a sense of vulnerability going into your newfound freedom because you have a, a belief, a false belief at that. Oh, because you know what the word is after privation? Abandonment. I don't know if that means you think you're abandoning them or you think that if you abandon the journey, they're going to abandon the journey too. Or I don't know what you think, but baby, Twin Flames does not work the way a lot of you guys think it works. Okay. I studied it a long time before I actually became a reader because I don't, if you know me well enough, you know I don't touch anything I don't believe. You know I'm not gonna touch anything toxic. I'm not touching anything tainted. That's why I won't even do karmic readings most of the time. I don't even believe the word karmic is a word, karmic child, but that's, see, see? So I get this now. I get this a lot. I know that it's scary, but you have already been blessed. You see what color her wings are? Do you remember what color the wings are for Archangel Raphael that I told you about? Remember I said, even though you can't see him, what do you do? Maybe you look to the sky and you look for something in, in remembrance. Maybe you close your eyes and you go within and you feel it intuitively. Maybe you look in the mirror and you see the change in yourself and everything that you've become and you realize, oh, there is no way I'm not on this journey because it's whatever. It's I know that you're scared or you're nervous or you're worried or whatever is leading you to constantly need to watch readings or even what made you feel like, yeah, Grace, I needed a DF reading. I feel weird and I don't know why. Sometimes because I use the inflammatory language that I use to inflame you, sometimes you'd be like, oh, no, that's not me because because that particular word doesn't describe me. So, you know, you didn't use it in the, in the perfect context. So I'm going to skirt around that. I heard somebody the other day say, other day say that, um, and again, don't please don't try to read into this. Just listen to what I'm saying. They said something like uh, Cardi B and Megan The Stallion's performance um, proved that they're not insecure. Because I guess someone else said that someone was insecure. I don't know why they said this. But anyways, um, and I thought to myself, because they were like, what are you talking about? They're not insecure. They were just on stage putting it all out there. And it's like, oh, because oh, you think insecurity only has to do with what people think when they look at you. You think insecurity only has to do with your looks. You think insecurity only has, no, nah, y'all. Insecurity could be all kinds of different things, right? So in the same way, you may have issues with this journey that Grace's vocabulary isn't going to fit perfectly. And I should not have to use sync words to get through to you. Because that, again, that's a reflection of your character of avoidance, not my inability to read you properly. You feel me? I don't get those kind of comments from anyone from a personal, right? I don't get that from a general, or I only get it in a general. So I need you to ask yourself, why are you here? Why are you listening? If you're just, you know, getting a good word, want a vibe, cool. I don't need you to comment that and make anyone else feel bad. 
you should be able to internalize that, know that's your truth and just walk with it and, and feel that freedom. But those of you who I'm speaking to, you're like, yes, Grace, I'm going to raise my hand. I, don't, I trust that me acknowledging this is not a failure or that I, I acknowledge I have been feeling that way. I want you to know that I get you. I see where you're at. And the freedom that you are looking for does not come with the baggage that you think you're going to bring along, which is regrets, fear. No, the freedom that you look are looking for is actual freedom. It's actual peace. What's the message? And we're going to end here. What's the message from our guides? Your divine masculine has been on the way. And when they come, it's going to be quick. But we're going to use that vibe to help you practice. So be prepared for some things to start coming along. Good opportunities, exciting experiences. Let them happen. Appreciate them. Take them in. Go forward. Do not be afraid to go on an adventure. The restlessness, the restlessness that you feel is because you are not self-assured. Your, your DM assured and you, you think your DM crazy. So why in the world would you <laughs> follow your passion instead? Follow your heart instead. If you say, oh, but my passion is only for my DM. Okay, well then what do they like? What do they do? Now go do that. That doesn't mean go to their job. That doesn't mean go to their, you know, their, their billiard hall that they like to know. Do it on your own. Run into them in the most casual of ways. Don't create false things that you're going to regret later and go, dang, did I force that? No, live your best life and let God crack his knuckles and surprise the hell out of you. That's what this adventure is supposed to be about. This is supposed to feel natural and good, not heavy. Mm. Free yourself. There's another eight. Am I right? I mean, come on. What do we see? Eight of wands, eight of cups, eight of swords now. Let's shift this. Let's shift out of this vibe. You're not trapped. You're not stuck here. And if anything, you might've put yourself here or let, maybe you let me or, or some reader or you know a friend, whoever, I don't know. Maybe you let someone else get you trapped here but it's not up to me or any other person to free you from this particular one. You can do this. Final message from your 3D and we'll close out with an angel card. Seven of cups in reverse. You know what the seven of cups says, right? Procrastination, fear, no more. Let go of the fear and the pain Turn that frown upside down, child. Smile. See the truth of what still stands for you. And all that research and all the things you've been doing, put it to good use. It's time to be active. The wait is over. The storm has passed. And I know it's terrifying. I know some of you have been experiencing, especially here, I mean, not even just here. I, now that I think about it, Mr. Lightwork and I, um, we keep up with current events and things going on beyond what is in the media. Um, we have a few different pastors and ministers and ministries that we follow that let us know. I mean, it's, it's a global thing. The whole world is groaning and crying out. There's floods and there's earthquakes and there's crazy storms and tornadoes and, and you know, God knows what else is happening of human, uh, you know, with everything even in America. Seven shootings in seven days. I'm just saying there's, there's, there's so much and it might not feel like the storm has really passed. Think about the last time you were really, really scared. I'm talking 3D scared. I'm talking real life, not just spirituals, like something scary was happening. And think about how long after that event was actually over before you were able to stand back up and go, oh, okay, everything's okay. I'm still alive and it's time to rebuild. See, the problem with the spiritual storm is you didn't see it coming. You might have felt it, right? Like, oh, it's going to rain. I can smell it. My arthritis is kicking it, right? You might have felt it. It was like being in the dark, right? Pitch black, and you can hear everything, chaos, 
and it's crazy. And then when it's gone, you still don't know if it's gone. It's over. That phase, that cycle, that storm is over. It is safe now. I want you to stand up. I want you to assess the situation because there was destruction. There are many things that changed. But what still stands? Right now, that's what your divine masculine is doing. Now, it's your turn. Look at your heart and ask yourself, maybe look up PTSD. Maybe you don't have the, you know, actual in the physical or, you know, chemical, whatever, but maybe you can look at the symptoms and go, oh man, I had no idea. Sometimes it's, the diagnosis can literally change everything. Just knowing it helps you snap out of it. Sometimes realizing that maybe the trauma is deeper encourages you to go seek therapy or talk to a friend, tell your counterpart even the truth. Whatever it is, stand up, assess the situation, the truth, the facts, not what you think, not what you hope, not what you feel, the facts. And you go forward, you be your best, you trust in your ability, you trust that you are dope and not one single person, place, thing, situation can stop that from being true. Final message. Jesus. Power and intention. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, he is super sexy. Y'all, don't that kind of look like what Mr. Lightwork gonna look like when he like 65? Oh my gosh, oh, he is so fine, child. Ugh. Oof, distraction, Grace, distraction, Grace. Read the card and read the book and, and move on with your life, child. Ooh. All right, I wanna show you what comes right before power and intention, opportunity and change, okay? But let's read power and intention. When you align your intentions with the highest good and act with love and consideration, your power is intensified. When you draw this card, your angels are drawing close to remind you of this. You have the capacity to be a leader and guide at this time, and you are being encouraged to align with love and the highest good so that you act from the heart. Often when power arises within, we can find our ego gets louder, and this is because it wants us to be limited and to question or even stifle our growth. Don't let it hold you back now. Call in God or your angels, ancestors, Jesus. Invite them to help you. Listen closely to the voice of your soul that so you can move forward powerfully and effectively in a loving way. Powerfully and effectively in a loving way. You're being encouraged to reconnect with your initial ideas and intentions for whatever you're thinking about at this time or even for your entire life. Often we have an initial intention and then over time, our ideas change. But we have to let them go as some of the responses we're getting are still from our initial intentions. When we let go, we let God. So if you're confused about how to move forward at this time, you need to recognize that you are a powerful being with influence and potential. Have a clear conversation with God about your intentions and recognize that what is unfolding at this time has the power to allow you to live your life from a space of pure potentiality. your potentiality you know what else sounds like that that gift inside of you that baby 
spiritual boo boo. Hey, boo boo, how you doing in there? You okay? It's time to come out. And you are a great big ball of pure potentiality. And you were made for such a time as this, and you're beautiful. You are perfect for this very moment. And it can be so, 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 so scary when you come into this vast place and feel so alone and different. But you are safe here. Because you weren't put here by accident. And the very same God that made you and created all of this is with you every moment of every day. So come out. Come play with us. It's a lot more fun than it looks and the water is warmer than it seems, okay? Okay, um, <laughs> I need to get out of here. So, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Fiery Grace the Gifted. I'm an intuitive life strategist. There's a glare. You, you're just gonna deal with that glare, okay? <laughs> I'm here on YouTube offering my take on the twin flame journey as a twin flame who has been there, done that, gone through it all, at least on my journey, and still trust and believe that there is something beautiful and powerful about Twin Flames. Mr. Lightwork and I both believe in reunion this lifetime with your true twin. If you don't believe that, we may not always see eye to eye, but if you do, and you need the confidence, the clarity, guidance, truth for your journey, we're here. My website is thefierygrace.com. Um, if you go to the navigation menu, you'll see that I offer intuitive coaching, which is readings and rune readings and um, oracle readings, love letters, whatever you want to call that. And then I also have the phone sessions. There is no tarot on phone sessions and there is no divination. There is no, um, I, I don't channel. If a message comes through, it comes through, but I don't actively seek to channel on those calls. And I like to be clear about that. Um, but if you need to talk to a real person who actually has, you know, not just personal experience, but also degrees and experience um, mentoring, not just being a twin flame, but actually leading and, and all of those things, uh, I'm your person and I'd love to help out. Please understand that you do not have to purchase anything. I have hundreds, hundreds, we're headed towards a thousand readings available on my page. 95% of them are timeless. So if you can't afford a reading or you just know you're not going to pay for one, don't. There is plenty of content here. And if you find that you're obsessed with readings and you need to watch something different, watch mine. Because I'm a coach. <laughs> and so you're always going to get something more out of them. But if you want to work with me, whether it's a reading, a phone call, or even long-term coaching, just check out my website or send me an email, thefieryGrace at gmail.com. You'll get an auto reply back that will give you a few different links about what it's like to work with me, how or when to choose a reading. We accept Stripe, Cash App, and Venmo. We also accept PayPal, but uh, they're still holding Mr. Lightworks funds. I'm, we still can't figure out why they're continuing to discriminate against him. All of their reasons have gone out the window. So if you have PayPal and that's what you use, please don't hesitate. Um, we don't want to block anyone from being able to reach out. 
But if you don't mind, you know, having a Cash App, having a Venmo, uh, paying through Stripe, please go ahead and go through the process on the website to do that. Oh, uh, I probably should have mentioned this <laughs> when I started this, but I have a huge sale going on right now. And uh, you could save anywhere from like, I don't know, like 20 bucks all the way to like several hundred dollars because it's 44% off. And I applied it to my packages, which I normally don't do because the packages are already discounted. So I'm just throwing that out there because again, I like to save. You wanna know how you save on my website? You go to whatever page. So if you wanna look at intuitive services or phone calls or whatever, and you put them in order by price, okay? You're gonna go to the filter, sort by price, low to high, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm for real, like I'm not, I'm sh y'all. Y'all need, see, this is why I need another YouTube channel. I'm gonna teach y'all how to shop, how to find all the deals. <laughs> um, so I hope that whatever I can offer you, it's somewhere, whether it's on YouTube, on my website, or in a future reading. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. Please make sure you like this video. This is a divine feminine reading that's gonna break a lot of people out of a really bad cycle but it's also one that I think a lot of people are going to avoid until it gets the, um, the YouTube cred, right? Lots of likes, lots of views. That's the only reason most people will watch stuff. So keep that in mind that the more we're able to share readings like this, the higher the vibration of our entire collective. The more Divine Feminines watch readings by people like me, the higher the vibration of our entire collective. So. Just keep that in mind, okay? When you're thinking about what to share and how to support the channel. Last thing, cause I'm all over the place. Members, thank you so much. Please, if you are a member, don't forget. Matter of fact, if you're a member right here, right now, go to the emoji section. There are special emojis that only you can use. I made them for you. Ooh, Grace, I'm not, am I gonna throw up? Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. Um, and oh my God, I just got super hot out of nowhere. Um, I have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, members. Oh my gosh, it's funny because the first level of members is called Fiery Friends. <laughs> members, it only costs like a dollar, two dollars to support the channel. And if you don't have $2 and you struggling out here, do not do that. Just like the video. Do you understand that a like a subscription, that is enough support for me. Please do not put yourself out for me. But if you're like, Grace, no, no, no. I would I would have spent that at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I, I would have spent that at, at Starbucks. I want to give it to you. Then please, support the channel. Let other people know about it if you can't join. And be a good part of the collective. You know, when you're in the chat, when you're in the um, the, the comments, just be a good member of the tribe. Be supportive. Find someone to say something nice to. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone's probably gone, right? So the rest of us that are here are like the usuals. What's up, by the way? Usuals. That's not, I don't, that's not your name. Um, if you're still here, you know what? I'm gonna pull a card. <laughs> Hello. So, how do you get out of this, avoiding this 10 of wands cycle where you keep getting yourself stressed and, and, and having all these health concerns because you're so stressed and all that? You need to wait for perfect timing, but also trust. You see the two cups? God has your dynamic under complete control. It's funny because I was gonna tell you to post an angel, like the little angel emoji. Um, and then when I got excited, it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I want you to find, and here's the thing too, a lot of people do not go this far, which is no big deal, right? Most people probably already heard about the sale or um, you know, about my website, or some people just be like, I'm out of here. I skip whenever someone does like a, what's that called? A, um, what is that called? An ad, like when they do like a sponsorship, I just skip their, that part of their video and you know, move on to the next thing, right? So I don't, I'm not even mad at that. But y'all know y'all my people, if you still listening to me talk, after all this time, so here's your extra card, I would say go look up temperance. You might even wanna look up balance. See if you can find, right, 
type in uh, like tarot 14 balance card and see if a site comes up to give you some extra about that. But if you can't find it, just look up um, the temperance card and just like temperance card meaning and then go to the second page of results to find a random message. That's how you really find something meant for you. Um, but what I want you to do if you're still, 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 still here is I want you to go through, and this is why I said people who aren't here are not gonna know what the heck's happening. And I want you to find a comment and I, any comment, good, bad, ugly, you could find someone who left an angel, whatever you wanna do. I want you to type something encouraging to them, okay? Just something generally that you could probably say to anybody, but because you never know, they might, pe sometimes people don't come back and read like comments under their comment because they don't even know that there's a notification for it. And then sometimes they'll find it later and you just never know. Someone else might read it and be like, wow, I needed to see that, you know, what I'm, whatever. So find someone to encourage on this video because I have a feeling if, if we're bringing the Divine Feminine Collective here today, there's gonna be a lot of DFs who probably need the message, who probably need the encouragement. And remember, you may not feel very good today. Maybe you can type something that you wish someone would say to you and you can start that vibe and that trend. Mm. All right, I, I'm, I'm gonna go because I just like, I don't know, I just felt really weird all of a sudden. And I still feel, I don't feel as like nauseous, but I feel like weird. Like my ear's about to pop. I cannot explain what's happening right now. I'm gonna go. I love you and I'll talk to you later.